Hello and welcome to another Franchise Hockey Manager stream. My name is Adam. I'm the Cutie Manager of Franchise Hockey. Not with me, as always, is FHM producer Jeff, because he's still on vacation. Uh, he'll be back next week, but for right now, we're continuing with Challenge Mode Activated, Achievement Hunting in Franchise Hockey Manager 9. Uh, this is part three. If you watched our last stream... Uh, you'll know that we ended our last stream winning our last challenge, which I can't remember for the life of me what it was, which isn't important, but we tried, uh, and we wanted to do the St. Louis. Unfortunately, something was wrong with my computer. I've got it fixed. The St. Louis challenge is loaded. And so that's what our plan to do tonight is. And so, hello, thank you for coming out to all these of you who have, um, Basically, the St. Louis challenge is St. Louis had a fantastic team. They won the President's Trophy and then uh, didn't really do much else. Our goal is to be... Am I muted? No, I shouldn't be muted. Can you not hear me? As he pauses and waits. As he pauses and waits. No, I hear myself, which you'll probably now hear myself repeated. Northern Sky, uh, I'm not sure what to tell you. Somebody else, please confirm that they can hear me, because when I check, it's I'm, I'm hearing myself. Now i got to wait to find out. Uh, anyways, our goal is to win the Stanley Cup here. So that's what we're going to do. Other stream not working. Hear you loud and clear. Okay. Um, hmm. That's interesting. Why would it not be working? Try refreshing your page there. Uh, yeah, so let's take a look at the St. Louis team that we have here. Um, yeah, I see it working on mine. I think, I think Northern Sky, you just needed to load something in. All right, JLH, thank you. Okay, perfect. All right, so, okay. You had me really scared because I tested things and I'm like, okay, I'm sure it's fine. But, okay. All right, so here's what's going on. Here's the St. Louis team as it is. Our goaltending isn't super great because at this point, St. Louis had got rid of um, uh, Cujo. Uh, Roman Turek is here. He's doing okay. Um, but... Obviously, we're kind of only in it for one year. Our, I've already sent some guys down because we had a bunch of half-star guys. We can look at the depth chart in a moment. Just looking at the true really good guys, though. Chris Pronger, Turjan, McKinnis, Demetra, uh, Scott Young, Conroy. Uh, yeah, Mike Eastwood, Pascal. And uh, just just a lot of guys. Jeff Cortnall, Michael Hanzus. Oh, and Hecht, uh, you know, Mark Bergevin hanging around. Um, so basically the thing here is I'd just like to try, maybe try and find a little bit more depth so we get rid of these. But we're, we're sitting pretty good. So first things first, we're going to look at our, our uh, staff list here. And, oh boy, I just got to check here now. Okay, Tig Thomas is, is finished with five goals. Okay, I wasn't sure if he got another one with my phone going off. Um, our coaching is okay, but we kind of like to find a better offensive and a better skills coach. I don't know if anyone's available, but we're going to take a quick look here in our staff. We're going to filter just for assistant coaches. And okay. All right. Checking. And this guy looks pretty good. Channing Torvik. Let's add him. He's going to be our offensive guy. We need to find somebody. All right. Here we go. Owen Hoffman is going to be our new. All right. Our new skills coach. All right, so Jim Roberts is going to get released. Hoffman is our new skills coach. Kitchen is going to get released. And 
Torvik is going to be our new offensive coach. Otherwise, I think we're kind of okay. Uh, so that, that helps that. We don't really care about scouting at this point. I'm actually going to go into my manager options. I'm going to put setting to the assistant because I don't want to deal with that. Um, too bad, JL. Five goals only equals Andrew Chuck's record for most goals in a game in Buffalo. Yeah, well, you know what? Five goals would have won, won somebody a million dollars if it was a Jets game. All right, uh, we're going to look at free agents to see if there's anybody of interest. And a couple of young guys like Mark Strait, who's not going to mean anything to us this year, but we'll offer him a contract anyways. Uh, anyone with talent? Okay, Robert Reichel. Let's see if we can get him signed. He could be... Boy, he wants a bunch of money. All right. That's fine. Ramo Helmanen, who, you know, from our streams, came in and played decent. Anybody else really jumping off? Not. Nobody's just saying absolutely have to have me. All right. So we just have some ideas here. Okay. Let's just kind of run with those two guys. We have 42 guys under contract as it is. Is Renberg on the market? Uh, I signed with Philadelphia at this point, but... Or do you mean, are they looking to trade him? All right. Straight wants 32, but he can have 43 instead. And Robert Reich wants 26. Well, he can't have it. He's going to have 62 instead. All right. Well, we could try trading for him. I... I guess we can kind of stack ourselves in favor of getting getting a lot of, uh, or giving up picks. Uh, let's just take a look who is on the tra trade market right now. And, yeah, not anyone who's really jumping off. I kind of don't want to d explore trading too much until we get past the waiver draft anyways. Uh, we're just going to take... Those killers off because we're into September now. And yeah, okay. That's fine. Seeing a few storylines pop here. And all right. So first things first, I'm going to send straight down. I'm just going to have the assistant. Just players, we'll see what happens. Dave Ellett's out. Mark Bergevin's out. Bryce Salvador, we're going to send down too, because he's not going to make this team at one star. Uh, there's Brian Helmer. We actually do have some decent defensive depth. Why is it playing Roy Fitzpatrick over Ricard Pearson? Huh. Interesting. All right. Shoulder soreness indefinite. Oh, man. That hurts. All right, I guess we're going to put him onto the injured list. Hand Zeus isn't in either. Wow, okay. Ladislav Nagy. Send him down too. Um, 
do the X may be moving to Y play rumors indicate that a team is definitely shopping that player or could they be random rumors? Uh, it will almost always be that they are trying to move the player. Usually the person is on the trade block, whether or not the team that is rumored to get them can be a little bit more, let's say convoluted on that. Ooh, Marty Reasoner's not in yet either. Okay, so we got some guys. All right, let's take a look here then. Uh, and let's take a look at our tactics here before we go too far. Flexible. Yeah, we should be running basically most of our play through our defensemen. Alright, dump in. Dump in would be very prevalent at this time because of the trap. Um, <laughs> anything of interest here? Um, yeah, I'll put the one through one trap on as our type. And our D zone coverage will be. Uh, we'll stick two, three. Okay. I like it. Uh, we're going to sim through a bunch of this, hopefully, and keep moving pretty quickly. Would be the most ideal situation here. As we try to get towards, and we win our first game. Uh, again, we talk about this lots. If you're wondering why there's numbers on the side of my messages, it's because I have what is known as debug mode on, or trace mode on debug mode um, and that just lets us know if we're looking for something in particular that needs to be checked and Chris Alpine just got injured wrist sore so we'll take him out and replace him with Pearson Like Mark Bergevin's 34 years old and can't even get in the game. So let's just shop Mark Bergevin. Jason McBain. 33-year-old center Chris King. Oh, attempting. Marty McSorley. Ooh, another tempting one. Bob Probert. Oh, very tempting. Should I bring in Bob, Bob Probert? Uh, uh, I'm shopping him more than anything because I know we're going to lose him in the waiver draft is what's going to happen. Joe Riki, There's a name I haven't heard for a number of years. Alex Gusero. 35-year-old Rick Tockett. Man, Rick Tockett still put up 56 points. That's somewhat tempting. The Grim Reaper. Everyone's trying to throw us their veteran thumpers. Do I take the deal for Rick Tockett? Hmm. Thoughts, chat? 
We know what Rick Tockett can bring. Do you give McLennan this game to give Turk the game off? <laughs> And 3-2 victory over the Islanders. Um, oh, man, we lose to Philadelphia. Oh, man, we scored three first and then lost. Oh, that hurts. McLennan goes in. And we lose 3 nothing to Buffalo. Yeah, I don't think that's going to be enough to... Hmm. Keep thinking about the Rick Tockett one, no, but I'm going to say no. Do you think, okay, if we're going to do something wild and crazy, I doubt it'll work, but let's go talk to, what, what would we have to get for, to get Buffalo? So we'll start off by offering them Turk back. And a first round pick. And another first round pick. And another first round pick. Ooh, I can offer them three first round picks and it goes, oh, they'll probably accept that offer. Three first round picks and Roman Turek. For Hasek. I think that's probably worth it for what our goal is. Our goal is to win. So let's let's offer this trade. If we're gonna go all in, we gotta go all in. And we lose four one to Washington, huh man? We do kind of need a goal scorer, though. Since Brett Hall is no longer here. Should I try and bring back Brett Hall? That'd be tempting. All right, so we officially can get Hasek. I think we do that. We upgrade our goaltending a lot. Complete trade. All right, so we've added Dominic Hasek now. I don't know what happened to Scott Young. Minor facial cut. Okay. If we wanted to add. Eddie Belfer would have been an interesting ad here too. Okay. If we wanted to add back. Brett Hall. Who are we willing to give up? Start off with Mark Strait, who we... Who else can we offer here? <laughs> okay, if we offer Mark Strait, Jamal Myers. Okay, take straight away. Okay. Okay, so we bring back Brett Hall for a second round pick in Jamal Myers. 
I think we do that. Uh, select players. We are protecting Hassock and McLennan. Terjean, Pronger, Demetra, McKinnis. I don't know if we bother protecting a guy who's hurt indefinitely. Guess I better protect Mayor if we're going to end up trading him. Uh, and our defense could take a huge blow here if we lose all these guys. Protect the guys who are playing, I guess. All right, protected. Season preview, we are <laughs> Stanley Cup favorites since we got Dominic Hasek, Chris Pronger, and Hasek's still one of the best goalies in the league. So, all right, let's go to the waiver draft, see who we lose. Essenza goes first. Doug Brown. Aaron Ward. Mark Bergevin goes to Nashville. All right. Sean O'Donnell, Matthias Nordstrom, Rick Tabaraki, Dave Ellett. Okay, there's two defensemen gone. Jeff Toms, Bob Basson, Ty Domi, Stacey Roast, Ken Klee, Johan Hedberg. All right, so it's our pick. We should probably pick up a defenseman with the amount of guys we lost. Nicholas have uh, real stats. Okay. All right. Can play left and right. Seems like a good pick to me. All right, next pick, Corey Krauss, Donald Brashear, Peter Ferrero, Kavanaugh, Dallas. Nobody picked a 22. Manny Legacy goes 23. Helinka, 25's pick. Bill Muckelt, Peter Popovic. And that's it. All right. So we lose a couple guys, we gain guy, gain somebody back. All right. This brings me back to the 90s, yes. We need to see if we're going to get this trade done. Monthly budget, we're going to up the team morale by a lot. And Dallas accepts our offer. So we are bringing Brett Hall back home. And Brett Hall is back being a St. Louis Blue. All right. Anybody else you think we should be adding? Uh... All right, a few different guys get dressed. Brett Hall's back in the lines. Assistant create lines. All right, that's quite the deadly first line. Demetra Turgeon Hall. 
kind of drops off there on the second line. So maybe we still need another secondary score, but we'll see how this goes to start. Uh, gonna kind of skip over what well, Hall needs a number. Oh, sorry, Marty Reasoner. You can have 17. Speaking of which, what's my, how's my fans feeling? Reacquired Brett Hall. Everybody's happy. Sad we traded our, away our first round pick, but overall we're positives. All right. And we lose 3 2 to St. Louis or to Phoenix in the first game. Oh, that's not good. In our home opener at that. And Demetra, what? Cut his ear. Oh, man. So Demetra's out. So Tyson, uh, no, Hector's going to get in. <laughs> oh, five, five tie. Oh, yeah. We all, uh, Gang Magnus says, hey, look, everyone, Brett Hull's a fossil, but he's back. Oh, uh, it's 1999, so, you know, relatively speaking, he's just in his mid to late 30s. And we just lost Tyson Nass for, with sports hernia. Luckily, he wasn't in the lineup, I guess, but man. Game versus Calgary. We're, Hasek's probably going to end up playing, like, 82 games, let's be honest. We lose 5 nothing. Oh, man. What? Now we're going to have too many players. Oh, boy. Let's take a look and see if anybody's on the trading block yet. Nope. If we want a decent defenseman... It would be a decent... Things are quite in the hockey ring at this time of the stream. Ah, uh, well... It's just is what it is. I'm trying to think who would be a decent defenseman. Okay, we finally pick up a win over Edmonton. Um, <laughs> who would be a decent defenseman to try and go get? We kind of need another secondary score. Oh, 7-2 lost to Detroit. Boy, that's bad. Detroit's not likely going to trade with us. Although, we could take a look at the Detroit roster here, because they are in our division. I'd, we'll never get Nick Lindstrom. <laughs> we could probably get Chris Chelios. Should we go after Chris Chelios? Jeff Corton only needs to fuse with his brother. Uh, Chelios might not be bad. Hammerlick would cost an arm and a leg. Um, we 
you kind of need like that three star defenseman and I'm just not sure who to try and target Breezeball had a decent start We're putting the band back together. I think I could get Scott Stevens back. They have no real weakness. What would what could we offer them? I need to offer them a defenseman back. So we start with Jeff Finley. Barrett Jackman? Okay. Let's offer them the rights to Barrett Jackman. Okay, balanced offer. Okay, there we go. And let's throw in a future fourth round pick. No, no. Third round pick. Okay. All right, so if we get him, okay, that's good. Now, what do we need? If you streamed in the OTP 23 category, there'd be hundreds in here. Well, that wouldn't be very genuine. Uh, um, hmm. What do I need? Who's going to be a good secondary scorer at this point? I don't think we're going to get Solani. Although, boy, that would be interesting, wouldn't it? <laughs> Could I save Andrew Brunet? Uh, he's not really putting up that many points. Um, Could I get Joe Thornton? Oh boy, that would be a big get. Let's see. Let's see if we can trade for Joe Thornton. Okay. Start there. Now their goaltending is okay, but let's maybe add, we don't really need Jamie McLennan. Okay, we're getting closer here. Let's add that second round pick. Couple second rounders, no. Ah, no, can't get him. We don't have the picks left to get him. Okay. Good scoring forward. Uh, well, I guess we could go after... I forget who suggested it. Uh, I'm trying to look back in the chat. Oh, maybe I had to refresh. Uh, overkill ASC. Should we go for Renberg? Try and get Renberg. Ziggy from the Kings. Oh, it wouldn't be bad either. Let's let's see if we can get Renberg out of Philly. He's three and a half. Start. Oh, he's hurt too. Sore thumb day to day. Oh, he didn't have a lot of points. What did he have this year in real life? Uh, 
All right, we're going to the Kings then. Ooh, Paul Feet. No, we're uh, we're not getting Paul Feet. He's four and a half stars. Trade for someone else's first round picks. Easier said than done. Uh, if we do that, we're gonna have to give up somebody we don't want to give up. Oh man, I'm trying to think of guys from twenty years ago. We need somebody who's good, but not like super good. We need just like a solid 30 point guy. Like a younger version of Pat Verbeek would be awesome. But that's not going to work for him. Uh. Okay, how about we do this? We try and get Claude Lemieux. All right, so who are we willing to give up for Claude Lemieux? Oh, he almost not playing, so we might as well get rid of him. But if he does come back, okay, let's just see. And we'll throw in a six-round pick. Ooh, we might get Claude Lemieux for not very much. That would be tempting. This will be the greatest team ever assembled of... Random guys. Oh, good. We beat the Leafs. That's the most important thing, right? Beating the Leafs. Two-one victory. All right, we have trades to accept. Scott Stevens is in. Colorado will let us have Claude Lemieux. All right. Let's hope Claude Lemieux can regain some form here and help us out. Okay. Ooh, Brett, oh, ooh, Brett Hall fell all the way down to fourth line. I'm not sure about that. Uh, okay, there we go. All right, kind of like that. All right, let's give this a shot now. Too many active players. Who's coming out then? Ba -ba -ba -ba. Move Tyson Nash down, then. We don't really need him. He doesn't have to clear waivers. He's got Steven wants number four. He can have it. Claude Lemieux can take that. And we continue. Let's see how our new built team looks. 3 nothing win. All right, there we go. That's what I like over Calgary. Scott Stevens immediately picks up a goal. Claude Lemieux get, grabs a couple of assists. This is what I like. There we go. Ooh, and Ray Bork just gone for four months. All right. If there's time to make hay, now it is that time. And we beat Edmonton again. Like it. Scott Stevens revenge game in New Jersey. 4-1 victory. I like it. Claude Lemieux goal and assist. Wow, Claude Lemieux is paying off big time right now. Just coming in and getting points.
For a sixth round pick, yeah, that's exactly what we needed. Back to back, and we win again. Claude Lemieux, two assists. Scott Stevens picks up a goal. Wow. All right. And continuing on here. Playing Detroit. This is the big test. We lost 7 2 this time. We win 2 0. All right. Shut him out. Hasek makes 31 saves. Not producing a lot of shots, but we get the goals we need to win. And oh no, Claude Lemieux got hurt, but he's only out six days. Okay. Whew. Had me a little worried there. All right. Monthly budget. We're not going to change a huge amount right now. Owner confidence is pleasantly surprised at how well the team has been doing this year. We're a serious contender. You should be looking for players to help us right now. I mean, I did everything I can. I should actually just sign some of these guys as contract extensions. Even though this challenge is only one year. And just get him signed. And a bunch of guys sign new contracts. Oh, yeah. Let me still. Oh, Pearson got hurt too. Skate bite. Okay. Lemieux comes out and is replaced with Campbell. Pearson comes out and gets replaced with Havlid. All right, Colorado. 2-1 victory for us. All right. That's what I like to see. What is the goal of the challenge? The goal of this challenge is to win the Stanley Cup. That is the sole goal of this challenge. Five two loss to Edmonton. That's disappointing. We outshot them, but new bad defensive game from Havlid and Reardon. Ooh. Oh no, and Pierre Turgeon got injured. Hamstring soreness. Okay, we can survive that. Buffalo and Detroit complete a trade. Okay. Nobody for nobody. All right. Okay, good. Claude Lemieux's back. Pearson's not quite, so... Campbell gets replaced with Lemieux. Turgeon gets replaced with Campbell. And 3 nothing victory. All right. Again, Claude Lemieux, one goal, one, one assist. Playing on that first line. Man, he's just getting it done. And now Pavel Dimitra's injured. What? Day to day. The strained foot. Okay. Okay, so we have... Um, Hans Zeus isn't even in yet, so there we go. And 
Four one victory over Dallas. All right. Now this would be a terrible team in a few years if we were actually not just trying to go all in this year. With the amount of draft picks we gave up, but right now it's working. Alex Tangay just got traded to ooh, to San Jose. It's a bad trade. Why would Colorado do that? Wow. All right, we'll give McLennan maybe his first game of the year. Just give Hasek a game off versus the Islanders. And we lose. Okay, Hasek's not, not playing again. Not not playing again. Disappointing. Disappointing. All right, Pierre Turgeon returns. Which means Campbell is out. Gets replaced with... Turgeon. And we continue here. All right, game for Toronto. Oh, we lose three nothing. Harsh. Did forget to put him back in, so let's get our defense back to where it was. Maybe we still need another defenseman. Three three tie. Hmm. I take a quick look here at the trade block, see if anyone's up who's interested. And oh boy, that is a bad trade block. Just tying all the time. All right, so Demetra's back, which means we can take Hanzus out. Not that he's playing bad, mind you. But yeah, so okay, we kind of need another defenseman. So who could we get? I mean, Chris Phillips would be an interesting ad. <laughs> Could use my boy Tepo Newman in, but I don't think we're going to get him out of Phoenix. Yuri Slager probably wouldn't cost us a ton. We could probably get him. So who would we be willing to give up now? Right. 
Roy Fitzpatrick. Okay. And... Rights to Mike Van Ryan. Low cost, low entry. Okay, and we're now we're losing McKinnis. That's worse. And Chris Pronger got suspended. Oh man. Boy, that went from bad to worse very quick. McKinnis, I guess, has to go on the injured list. And who are we calling up? Bryce Helmer, I guess. I kind of like the way our top two lines are doing, so I don't want to move them. All right. And 4-3 loss. Okay, not bad when we're missing our top two defensemen. Okay, so we can get Yuri Slager for nothing. Oh, he's two and a half stars now. Okay. Whatever. We'll complete that trade. And... All right, so that should help our second pairing defenseman. But we could probably still use another. Uh, Beetle asks a question. And we lose 3 nothing to Buffalo as well? Come on. Do you think there are too many injuries on normal mode? Beetle, my answer to that is no, I really don't. I know I complain about a lot, or seem like I'm complaining, but I have run a lot of simulations and a lot of tests and the amount of injuries that come out are very typical to a regular season with the NHL. Sometimes people just don't quite realize how many times guys miss a game for an injury or two. And sometimes they're called scratches even when they're not. Or sometimes you kind of forget that a player hasn't been playing. And using like the Winnipeg Jets as an example. Jets are playing really well right now in real life and they're missing one of their top six forwards and everybody kind of forgets that because uh all right mckinnis is ready to come back so that's good but i think he has to stay on the injured list for a little bit while they haven't had uh nick Ehlers since the beginning of the year because he's been hurt And, I mean, you look at Colorado this year, Beetle. Go look at all the man games they have lost so far. It's crazy. So I understand when people get frustrated with injuries. But it's, it is realistic in that sense. 4-1 victory over Nashville. Okay, awesome. And Pronger's suspension is over, which means he can come back in. Huzzah. Can I get... Can I get McKinnis off the injured list yet? I can. Ah, oh, two days longer. Darn. Okay. So Pronger's back, which means Helmer's out. Pronger's in. All right, there we go. Who 
And we sim. Three nothing victory, and yeah, be, again, Beetle. I I mean that genuinely. Go go look at Colorado. I mean, they just lost Nate McKinnon for four weeks now. But the amount of games they've lost this year are. And and I understand to when people were, which is why there was a change in this version. Um, uh, when guys get injured on with what seems like can be minor injuries or don't want to play through it or couldn't play through it before, and now they can. I think that was a big change for us, and I think it works fairly well. Okay, so Helmer's got to go down. Maybe not. Who's our worst guy? Oh, that is Helmer right now. Okay, Helmer's going on waivers. Hopefully we don't lose him, but we might... And McKinnis is coming in and have Woods coming out. All right. We still don't have a spot for Hanzus in our lineup either, but you know what? That's okay. So Claude Lemieux has 15 points in 19 games. Hopefully he picks it back up here. Maybe he will now that we got some defensemen back. But he hasn't been quite the same since that injury. But we keep winning, which is okay. Yuri Slager's improving, which is also good news. As we keep going here. 3-1 victory over Nashville. At least we got, you know, easy team to beat up there for some points. Jimmy McLennan has played in one game, and that's all he's going to probably play. We win again, 2-0. Now, if Hassett gets hurt, this this we might as well quit the save, because I don't know what we're going to do. And by the time it tells us it is right now, we're not going to, or we're definitely not going to finish tonight. Let me just take a look here at stats because I'm curious if we look at our stats summary. Okay, Turgeon's at a point per game. Lemieux's got 18 and 30. Hall's got 17 and 32. Pronger's got 14 and 27. You know, and Hecht, okay, got. 13, that's respectable. Robert Reichel, 9 points in 31 games. Not great, but not bad. Scott Pellerin's not getting it done. I put Hanzus in for Pellerin and see what happens. Hanzu's best tactic grinder? Really? Alright, let's put him at two way forward. Alright, couple tweaks there. And, ooh, 4-1 loss to Boston. Ouch. And Zeus immediately got an assist, though, so that's okay. one nothing victory over, Saint, er, over Phoenix. Another game versus Nashville. I like how happy some of these guys are. And 
one nothing lost in Nashville. Our scoring's dipping again. All right, so maybe we do this again. We look at our lines here. We unselect all these guys. And say, mix them up. Got to turn down those ice times a little bit. See if we make a bit of a difference there. 1-1. One, one. Okay. All right. Nope. Going to leave Hassock in. Can't take him out. Can't take him out. 4 nothing victory over Colorado. So that's good. We're beating the teams we have to beat. Slager picks up his first assist with us. Excellent as well. And San Jose, we get 3 2 loss. Oh, man, come on, man. Maybe we do need that one extra defenseman. All right, player pro results. Hardest shots, Al McKinnis. Toughest goalie to beat is Dominic Hasek. All right. Best skaters, Pavel Bure. Fastest, Pavel Bure. Toughest is Louis DeBrusque. Ron Francis, best role model. Cleanest is Brian Campbell. Controversial, Benoit Brule. Overrated, Alexander Doggo. Underrated, Mark Messier. Smartest, Harry York. Coach you'd most like to play for, Scotty Bowman. Hard to argue with that. All right, since we are here into the January 1st, this seems like the most natural place to stop here. Uh, I'm just going to play this game out. And I think we'll stop here for the night because we'll have to come back and see if we can do this. And I'm going to have to think about who we could possibly add. There's a 3-2 victory for us over Washington, which is excellent. All right. With that, we're sitting pretty at 22, 12, and 4. Oh, Pronger just got hurt. We have to make a decision on whether to delay his treatment. No, we're not going to delay his treatment, though. He's going to get protected from himself. So that's a good spot to stop right now. So thank you very much for tuning in to another Franchise Hockey Manager stream. We typically stream every Wednesday night at 10 p.m. Eastern on twitch.tv slash franchise hockey manager as well as twitch.tv slash OOTP developments. All of our streams are archived on our YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash OOTP developments as well. You can reach out to us on our Facebook page, which is facebook.com slash franchise hockey manager. On Twitter, we're at franchise hockey. We can find a link to our official Discord in our Twitter bio as well. And of course, you can come on down to our official website, which is ootpdevelopments.com. Click on the community button in the top right hand side, and you'll see it. And that'll bring you to our forums where you can come talk about franchise hockey manager, out of the park baseball, perfect team go, or anything else you wish to discuss. As I mentioned at the top of the show, Jeff is back next week and we'll probably be continuing our college game and we'll come back in two weeks time to continue this unless something changes, but that is the plan right now. Um, yeah. So with that, thank you very much for tuning in and we will see you all again next week.